Uh, and I would add, we have not done as well moving away from the West as Charlie and I might have, well, certainly as, as, as well as we hoped for when we originally bought C's. I mean, we've done way, way better in terms of the overall result, but, but it has been interesting to us. Now, bear in mind, no one really makes any money with box chocolates through retail, through their own retail outlets in the United States, except for ex, except for C's. I mean, it, there's only one pound per capita of box chocolates, roughly, sold in the United States. I'm told I gave the wrong figure on. I said 64 ounces per year on people drinking. You really don't look like you only drink 64 ounces of liquid a, a year. It was a day, but on this one, it is one pound per capita per year on box chocolates. So. It is, it, is not a, it is not a big business. It's not a business. Well, the truth is hundreds and hundreds of firms, including some that were a lot larger than C's, have failed. And there really is no one making any money elsewhere. Russell Stover makes very good money selling th through uh, a distribution channel that, that is different. But nobody's found a way to do it in stores. We found a way to do it in the West. We have not found a way to do it elsewhere. And it, it, it's very irritating to me and to, to Chuck, as far as that's concerned, and that we can't figure out a way because it's so successful when it works, as it does in the West. Uh, but the answer is you can look at Archibald Candy, uh, you know, the bonds are selling for 50. They own Fannie Farmer and Fannie Mae and Laura Secord up in, in Canada. And it is a very tough business in this country because Americans just don't buy much box chocolate. They're always happy to get it as a gift. Everybody in this room would love to get a gift of it, and they may buy it when they're here, but you don't normally walk down the street and, and or, or walk in a mall and buy it for yourself. It's usually a gift or it's usually at holiday time. And uh, so we don't do as well as you might think we would when we get to very successful malls that are located in other parts of the country. We have opened holiday shops, kiosks really, uh, at 50 stores at Christmas time around the country, away from our natural territory. And uh, we make some money out of that, but we wouldn't make money if we were there year round. And uh, we've been thinking about it, I'll guarantee you, for 30 years because it's a terrific business where, where it works. Uh, and it's a very good question to ask because you would think I mean, in Mall of America is an obvious example. Simon would be tough to deal with, the, uh, the landlord, but we could figure out a way to do that. And the, uh, but you would think we could make money at a Mall of America, and, and, and we do fine with Ellsberg's there. But I'm not positive a candy store would, would work, but we may try one just, 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 just because you asked the question. Well, we'll, I'll talk to Chuck about it. <laughs> okay. How about Costco? My second oh, Costco. question. Uh, oh, Costco makes its own decisions and so does C's, and I wouldn't think of getting into that one. Well, I'll get into it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want people discounting our candy. It's very simple. Any more than Rolex wants somebody discounting their watches. And we will not, uh, we're not going to go through any distribution channel at C's. We're already getting a bargain at our retail prices. We're not, we're not going to go through any other distribution channel, any distribution channel at C's that's going to discount. And Costco has no interest, and I don't blame them. I mean, they are based on giving people special prices. And that's fine, and God bless them, and you know, we'll buy things from Costco, but we're not going to sell a, a, a product where the price is part of the integrity of the product. We're not going to sell it through an, a, 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 a distribution system that where discounting is, is basic to their whole approach. Costco is a wonderful operation, and C's is a wonderful operation, and never the twain shall meet. <laughs> Very logical. My second question is to Mr. Bach. 